Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Dora and the Lost City of Gold from 2019. It's directed by James Bowman and stars Isabella Marseille and Michael Pena. The director of this film was coming off of directing both the 2011 hit The Muppets and the slightly less of a hit 2014 sequel Muppets Most Wanted. He's also, as of this writing, the director of the much-anticipated Clue remake coming in the future. Although, Hollywood shit changes all the time, so don't hold me to that, as the film could have changed hands two or three times, or been cancelled altogether by the time you see this review. Hollywood is weird. I love this movie. Love, love, love this movie. I find it hilarious and even though I am so not the intended audience for a film like this, I still feel like there is plenty of stuff in this PG youth movie that is there to appeal to an older crowd. Like throwing Danny Trejo in as the voice of Boots the Monkey. Come on. Very few kids are going to get that Danny Trejo is the ultimate badass and so making him Boots the Monkey and having him speak the words he sparingly does so in the film is certainly a nod towards that. But there is way more about this film that is made to appeal to the youth market. I guess I just find humor in weird places because this movie makes me laugh a lot. I don't know. I think that maybe it's something about how Dora is so damn earnest and endlessly positive in the worst situations that makes me laugh. And the role of the other three kids being there to point out the absurdity of Dora's existence. Come on. Also, there's more than one poop joke and I don't care how old I get, that will always be funny. Plus, is Michael Pena the best thing about every movie he's in? Let's see, we've already talked about how he's the best part of the first two Ant-Man films. He's the only good thing about the 2004 film Crash. Okay, that's just four films out of just shy of 100, but I have to believe that it's true of many of his films. He's just the best, and the scene in this film where he's giving a demonstration of what rave music is like is absolutely hilarious and is more than enough reason for you to watch this at any age. It also ends in a song and dance number that describes the film, and I fucking love when movies do that. Oh, and bonus, I get to link this film to Alien Romulus, which I just talked about 9 or 10 reviews ago because Isabella Merced, who plays the 16-year-old Dora in this film, is playing a character in that film and seeing how that film will already be out by the time you see this review, all I can say was I hope it was good. I'm giving Dora and the Lost City of Gold an A- because it makes me laugh unironically. Tomorrow I review Dr. Giggles. See y'all then.